In with breaking news out of Bristol here this morning. Thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Lauren Zenzi and I'm Tim Lammers in for Keith McGilvery today. Here's what we know. Dozens of police and state troopers responded to a shooting Wednesday night in Bristol. Uh, it was not that long ago that the Connecticut State Police confirmed on Twitter that three police officers were shot and that injuries more than one has been reported. Now we are still waiting for more information from them in a press conference. We know it happened on Red Stone Hill Road in Bristol, which is a little north of ESPN headquarters, although ESPN does not appear to be involved in this in any ways. Again, we just want to give you a reference point. Fox 61's Julia LeBlanc is at the scene of the shooting. Let's get straight out to her. Julia, do we have an update yet? Hi, good morning to you both. Yeah, right now we're just near the corner of Birch Street and Redstone Hill Road. And as you mentioned, the Connecticut State Police public information officer posting on Twitter not too long ago confirming that three Bristol police officers have been shot in a late night shooting. It happened last night. We're just not sure how severe those injuries are at this time. Now, we've been here at this scene for just about over an hour and a half at this point, and it looks like police officers are paying a lot of attention to that home right here on Redstone Hill Road. And you might be able to see here as we zoom in some kind of a tarp or protective covering that police officers have sort of been picking up and moving around the yard. We don't know if that's just to protect whatever evidence they're looking at right now or even how this house is involved in the situation at this point. But we know they're paying a lot of attention to that home and there's crime scenes surrounding it as well. Now, if you take a look as well, just to the right of the house, you can see that the Connecticut State Police Major Crime Scene Unit is here, and we have multiple police officers blocking this street off with the general public, especially those people who actually live in an apartment complex across from that house, are not able to drive through the street and actually get home. So we actually have people sitting here in this nearby parking lot at Sitco just waiting to get home. And getting some sleep right now. Now we do know as well that there is expected to be some type of an update from Connecticut State Police sometime this morning. We're expecting that to be in this vicinity here right near Birch Street and Redstone uh, Hill Road. So we will bring that to you live as it happens. But I know we have team coverage in multiple places and we're seeing a lot of general support from other officers and other agencies here and different presence at different hospitals. For now, though, we will send it back to you guys in the studio.